According to the Insurance Information Institute, say that 10 times fast, insurance premiums are up 102% here in the state of Florida. That's three times the national average. And if you're a Floridian, you can expect to pay about $6,000 a year on average for homeowners insurance. So you can imagine some buyers are shell shocked when they go to shop for a new home. And this is why contract cancellations are on the rise. Home buyers are backing out of contracts at nearly the highest rate in recent years. And that is due to the rising cost of housing. The percentage of purchase agreements that canceled is up to 16.3%. And that was as of September 2023, and it continues to rise. Home cancellations can occur for a variety of reasons. For instance, uncovering an issue during a home inspection. That's a big one. A person's financial situation can change. They can also uncover the true cost of owning a home, uh, like taxes or home insurance. However, property insurance seems to be the number one reason many of these contracts are canceling, at least these days. Among the largest 50 metro areas with high cancellation rates, the top 10 cities, well, five of them were in the state of Florida. That's right, insurance is one of the biggest contributors when it comes to contract cancellations. Many of the insurance carriers here in the state of Florida are one, charging high premiums, two, restricting the number of policies that they're willing to write, and three, some of them are just leaving the state altogether. Now, if you're wondering why are they leaving the state of Florida and doing the things that they're doing, well, I do have a video on that that goes into detail as to what's happening in the insurance industry, particularly if you're interested in the state of Florida, it's probably something you should watch. And I will link it at the end of this video. If you care to educate yourself. You know, many buyers have no idea what their insurance costs are going to be, and they don't find out until they're under contract. And the truth is, you really can't get an accurate picture of what the insurance costs are going to be on the property unless you have a wind mitigation report. Now, if it's a brand new home, you don't need a wind mitigation report because a new home meets all of the most strict codes. So an insurance company is not going to ask you for that. But if you're buying a resale, you're going to need it because they are going to look at that and determine what they're going to charge you for an insurance premium. And you can ask the current seller for a copy of their wind mitigation report if you want to shop. But I will caution you, a lot of times insurance companies want the wind mitigation report to be in your name. And you're going to get a home inspection so you can get it done at that time. You know, at least getting a copy of the current owner's mitigation report will give you a ballpark of what you're probably going to pay. So I would ask for it if you can. You could also ask them what they're paying for insurance, but I will caution you on that. Their premium doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be your premium. So the biggest thing I can tell you is if you are under contract and during your inspection period, you should do all of your due diligence, which includes shopping for homeowners insurance. And here's something really interesting for you. Even though state lawmakers have put in some things to help with insurance costs, like the Bill 7052 and My Safe Florida Home, they're all designed to help bring insurance costs down. But insurance costs are probably going to go up this year. And this is per the Insurance Information Institute. They actually said we're going to see double digit increases again in 2024. Now, while some legislators think they've done enough to help Floridians with the cost of insurance, these type of bills and policies take time to have any effect on the cost of a policy. But in the meantime, Floridians are certainly paying the price. And it's even worse for condo owners. Condo associations are seeing massive increases on their building insurance. A building that was once a $65,000 policy to insure can go as high as $800,000 to insure the building. And for those of you considering a condo, it's just not insurance. There are some other things you have to be concerned about 
if you're purchasing a condo. There are laws that have gone into place and that will go into effect in 2025, which will greatly increase your cost to own a condo. So I will also link that video at the end of this one. But here's some good news here in the state of Florida. If you are buying a condo, you do have a three day blanket cancellation period. During that time, a condo seller needs to provide you with the bylaws of the condo association. That way you can look at the rules, the regulations, you can look at the year end financials of the condo association, and you can ask about assessments either in place or being discussed and you should do that you know reading condominium covenants is very painful and the print is seriously small so make sure you have some good reading glasses just like these i have dozens of them while i wear bifocals i use readers most of the time and i have a tendency to misplace them or step on them just generally abuse them. Thank God for Amazon. And for the ladies, don't think these would look good on men, there is an affiliate Amazon link in the description box below. Just saying. You know, reading the covenants, the rules, the regulations, and a condo association or a homeowners association is really important because they do have lots and lots of rules. I've lived most of my adult life in a neighborhood that had a homeowners association which explains how much money I spend at Total Wine. But then I broke free. You know, but not all HOAs or condo associations are bad. I mean, there are some good things about it. I mean, they do maintain your property value. They can make sure everybody keeps their home up to snuff so nobody lets their house go to hell in a handbasket. You know, that's a good thing. But there's also a darker side. If you got some value out of this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. And put your comments below. Let me know, have you heard about the Florida insurance toboggle that's going on? I'd love to know. Now, I think it's time for me to enjoy a really nice cup of coffee or maybe an espresso. You know, so the people at the World Economic Forum will lose their, their mind. And I hope I see you here on the next one. Take care. This Great Reset is as serious and as dangerous a threat and your freedom. When government forces you into something, a way of living, when has it actually ever worked out? Lies are all around you. Scott, look at all of that fake news. It's unbelievable. Stop drinking the Kool-Aid.